Hi friend, welcome back to my channel today. Topic is about diabetes, carbohydrates, confusion. Okay, what is the confusion about carbohydrates? A lot of people think eating carbohydrate like rice, roti or fruits and they are real cause of diabetes. Many think carbs are the enemy but the truth will be surprising you. So always there is a myth and reality, right? All carbs are bad. But the truth is, complex carbs with fiber like millets, brown rice, oats and legumes release sugar, sugar slowly. Myth 2. Carbs equals sugar, which equals instant diabetes. Truth. Refined Carbs like white rice, sweets and juices spike sugar quickly. Myth 3. You must go zero carb. Truth. Extreme diets aren't sustainable. Balanced carbs provide steady energy. Myth 4. Jaggery and honey are safe. Truth. They raise blood sugar just like white sugar. So, even jaggery comes from sugar cane only. It is not safe. Practical takeaway. What is the practical takeaway about carbohydrates? Use the plate method. Half veggies, quarter protein, quarter carbs. Combine carbs with protein or fiber and avoid juices especially carbonated juices. What action we need to take? Carbs don't cause diabetes. Excess refined carbs do increase the diabetes. Comment below, which carb food do you find hardest to give up? Let us talk about it. Thank you guys. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. Please consult your doctor for further update about how to consume carbohydrates. Bye. We just discussed about carbohydrates confusion. So one of the important topic is about glycemic index. So it's important to understand what is glycemic index. The glycemic index GI is a measure of how quickly carbohydrate containing food rises blood sugar levels on a scale of 0 to 100. Foods are ranked based on how they compare to a reference food, usually poor glucose, pure glucose, which has GI of 100. So low glycemic index, what are those foods which falls under that? That is between 0 to 5, 55, uh, which are the low GI foods. Foods like whole grains, legumes and most fruits cause a slow and gradual rise in blood sugar. Okay, understood guys? Up to 55. So now medium GI. Okay. Medium GI, what are the items which falls under that? Which for 56 to 69 is the range. Foods like brown, sugar, brown rice or Certain fruits cause a moderate increase. Which are those high GI, which are above 70? Foods like white bread, white rice and sugary drinks cause a rapid spike in blood sugar, including fruit juices where we add a little sugar or some fruits where it will be uh, high in sugar. Key points. GI depends on, glycemic index depends on factors like cooking method, ripeness of the fruit and processing. Example, refined carbs like white rice have a higher GI than whole grains. Combining a high glycemic, high GI foods with a protein or a fiber, examples lentils with rice can lower the overall glycemic impact. GI does not account for portion size, 
or nutritional value. So it is often paired with glycemic load, which factors in both GI and the amount of carbs in serving. So important is portion sizing. Why it matters? Low GI foods helps to maintain stable blood sugar, which is especially important for managing diabetics. Energy levels and hunger, etc. However, GI is just one tool. Overall diet balance is the key. So important guys, keep watching. Uh, low glycemic index foods have GI score of 55 or less cause a slower, steadier rise in blood sugar. Examples, what are the examples guys? Can you guess? Now, grains, whole oats. So people talk about oats. Uh, it has become a very fashion, right? Oat meals, quinoa, barley, bulgur and millet. These are slower and steadier rise in the blood sugar. Legumes, lentils, chickpeas, kidney beans, black beans, soya beans. So they cause slow GI. Vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, spinach, zucchini and green beans. In the fruits, what are those things? Apple, pears, berries, strawberries, blueberries, cherries, oranges. In the nuts and seeds, almonds, walnut, chia seeds, flax seeds. In dairy products, plain yogurt, which is unsweetened. Don't go for flavored yogurt. Milk, preferably low fat or skim. Others, sweet potatoes, whole grain pasta, cooked cooked al dente, certain brands like oat bran. Note, preparation also is very, very important. Overcooking or heavy processing can also raise the glycemic index. Example, instant oats versus rolled oats. Pairing with the protein or fiber, nuts with fruit further slows down the sugar release. So very important guys, it's not just about talking about glycemic index and uh, uh, the carbohydrates blame. So many factors to consider. Uh, so please consider all this aspect along with the, uh, the carbohydrates myth. Please uh, consult your nutrition and uh, dietitian and your doctor before taking any of these actions. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Please uh, like, comment and share your uh, observations on the carbohydrates, what you use and how it is effective. Thank you guys. Bye for Hi friend, welcome back to my channel today. Topic is about diabetes, carbohydrates, confusion. Okay. What is the confusion about carbohydrates? A lot of people think eating carbohydrates like rice, roti or fruits and they are real cause of diabetes. Many think carbs are the enemy but the truth will be surprising you. So always there is a myth and reality, right? All carbs are bad but the truth is complex carbs with fiber like millets, brown rice, oats and legumes release sugar, sugar slowly. Myth 2. Carbs equals sugar which equals instant diabetes. Truth. Refined carbs like white rice, sweets and juices spike sugar quickly. Myth 3. You must go zero carb. Truth, extreme diets aren't sustainable. Balanced carbs provide steady energy. Myth 4, jaggery and honey are safe. 
truth there is blood sugar just like white sugar so even jaggery comes from sugar cane only it is not safe practical takeaway what is the practical takeaway about carbohydrates use the plate method half veggies quarter protein quarter carbs combine carbs with protein or fiber and avoid juices especially carbonated juices what action we need to take carbs don't cause diabetes excess refined carbs do increase the diabetes comment below which carb food do you find hardest to give up let us talk about it thank you guys like share and subscribe to my channel please consult your doctor for further update about how to consume carbohydrates bye we just discussed about carbohydrates confusion so one of the important topic is about glycemic index so it's important to understand what is glycemic index the glycemic index gi is a measure of how quickly carbohydrate containing food rises blood sugar levels on a scale of 0 to 100 foods are ranked based on how they compare to a reference food usually poor glucose pure glucose which has gi of 100 so low glycemic index what are those foods which falls under that that is between 0 to 5 55 uh, which are the low gi foods foods like whole grains legumes and most fruits cause a slow and gradual rise in blood sugar okay understood guys up to 55 so now medium gi okay medium gi what are the items which falls under that which for 56 to 69 is the range foods like brown sugar, brown rice or certain fruits cause a moderate increase which are those high gi which are above 70 foods like white bread white rice and sugary drinks cause a rapid spike in blood sugar including fruit juices where we add a little sugar or some fruits where it will be uh, high in sugar key points gi depends on glycemic index depends on factors like cooking method ripeness of the fruit and processing example refined carbs like white rice have a higher gi than whole grains combining a high glycemic high gi foods with a protein or a fiber examples lentils with rice can lower the overall glycemic impact gi does not account for portion size or nutritional value so it is often paired with glycemic load which factors in both gi and the amount of carbs in serving so important is portion sizing why it matters low gi foods helps to maintain stable blood sugar which is especially important for managing diabetics energy levels and hunger etc however gi is just one tool overall diet balance is the key so important guys keep watching uh, low glycemic index foods have gi score of 55 or less cause a slower steadier rise in blood sugar examples what are the examples guys can you guess now grains whole oats so people talk about oats uh, it has become a very fashion right what meals quinoa barley bulgur and millets these are slower and steadier rise in the blood sugar legumes lentils chickpeas kidney beans black beans 
soya beans. So they cause slow GI. Vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, spinach, zucchini and green beans. In the fruits, what are those things? Apple, pears, berries, strawberries, blueberries, cherries, oranges. In the nuts and seeds, almonds, walnut, chia seeds, flax seeds. In dairy products, plain yogurt, which is unsweetened. Don't go for flavored yogurt. Milk, preferably low fat or skim. Others, sweet potatoes, whole grain pasta, cooked, cooked al dente, certain brands like oat bran. Note, preparation also is very, very important. Overcooking or heavy processing can also raise the glycemic index. Example, instant oats versus rolled oats. Pairing with the protein or fiber, nuts with fruit further slows down the sugar release. So very important guys, it's not just about talking about glycemic index and uh, uh, the carbohydrates blame. So many factors to consider. Uh, so please consider all this aspect along with the, uh, the carbohydrates myth. Please uh, consult your nutrition and uh, dietitian and your doctor before taking any of these actions. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Please uh, like, comment and share your uh, observations on the carbohydrates, what you use and how it is effective. Thank you guys. Bye for Carbohydrates are often shrouded in confusion and misconceptions leading many to regard them as villainous in the realm of health. Consider the plate filled with rice, roti and vibrant fruits and the pressing question arises, are these delicious staples the real culprits of diabetes? Contrary to popular belief, the reality surrounding carbohydrates is far more nuanced, revealing truths that might just change your perspective on this macronutrient. One prevalent myth is that all carbohydrates are inherently bad for health. This is a blanket statement that does not hold water. It is essential to differentiate between complex and simple carbs. Complex carbohydrates, rich in fiber such as millets, brown rice, oats and legumes are indispensable as they release sugar slowly into the bloodstream, providing sustainable energy. In contrast, simple carbohydrates do not offer the same benefits and can lead to rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. Another common misconception equates carbohydrates with direct and instant diabetes. This connection cannot be made in a simplistic manner. Refined carbohydrates like white rice, sugary sweets and juices are the true offenders leading to quick spikes in blood sugar. These refined forms strip away beneficial nutrients and fiber that are crucial for gradual sugar release. Researchers emphasize that the quality of the carbohydrate matters significantly more than the carbohydrate itself which is often overlooked by many. A radical notion suggests that one must entirely eliminate carbs from their diet to stay healthy. However, this extreme approach is neither realistic nor sustainable. A balanced intake of carbohydrates plays a crucial role in providing energy for daily activities. Rather than eschewing them altogether, embracing a harmonized meal approach is more advantageous. This can be achieved through the plate method, which recommends filling half your plate with vegetables, a quarter with protein, and the remaining quarter with carbohydrates ensuring a balanced intake. Furthermore, many believe that natural sweeteners like jaggery and honey are safer alternatives to white sugar, but this isn't entirely accurate. Both jaggery and honey can elevate blood sugar levels similarly to processed sugars. It's vital to be mindful of portion sizes and the context in which these sweeteners are used. Integrating them with fiber and protein can lessen their impact. As we navigate this complex landscape of carbohydrates, the spotlight must shine on practicality. By employing the plate method and always considering a combination of carbs with protein and fiber, you can mitigate blood sugar spikes effectively. The goal is not to vilify carbs, but rather to discern their types and adapt our diets accordingly, fostering a healthier lifestyle.